kind of gets back to that idea of the design of the tools. Like I do think that really what I don't know that people are going to back away from gathering the data and sharing it, but I think where we're going to get to is a point where you know, is there a real utility there? Is there a value in terms of you know, insight about my own life or in terms of community building there? And if it's just the sort of passive sharing of, you know, yay, I ran this, I did this at the gym, da 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 da. Like at a certain point, I think people are going to tune out of that level of noise. And that's where I think the design of the tools becomes really important is can you do things that don't take a huge amount of people's days, but that actually can give them um, a certain <coughs> amount of um, meaning in their lives? And actually, there's a really good article by. Um, Anand uh, Giridardas, who's a New York Times columnist, who writes the Currents column. And he talked about the idea of there being sort of two simultaneous trends right now. The idea of, you know, like with Facebook um, tools and so forth that want you to spend a ton of time within that world, and other ones that are basically about, no, it's like Foursquare, it's like check in for a couple minutes and then go on about your day, with the idea that um, you're getting a real measurable utility from that idea of checking in and then going on about your business. So I do think, I think we're kind of at the, so much at the early days of that that we're not, we're sort of, that so much has been around getting people to spend as much time as possible with these tools and not thinking so much about the really deep utility. Yeah. 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 Yeah